In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to design a Mother's Day card with a picture like this. And this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel once again. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button if you're old here. Thank you so much for showing up. So yeah. Here are the resources that I'll be using. They are not that many. A link to download them will be in the description. So we're going to design a very simple Mother's Day card that will allow you to insert your mom's picture and you wish her. Before then, I wish all the mothers in here a happy Mother's Day. God bless you all. So I'll start off by creating a new document. We'll go to file and then new. And then I'm going to create a new document. So I designed this for social media. So four by four inches with a resolution way higher, but you let's make it 300. Okay. And then you go ahead and then you click OK. Right from here, you go to the adjustments layer and then you add a solid color. So this is the solid color that I used F4, F4, F4. And then you click OK right from here. I use this particular color probably because of the image that I chose to use. But then if your mom is in a different attire, you can as well use a different background as well. Next off, I'll go into my resources and I have my first gray background. Basically, it is more or less like the same background that we placed here. But just that you're going to do a very simple thing to it. So I'll hold shift and then I'm going to open this one up to fill it right here like that. I'll double click on it and then I'll go to the blending mode over here and set this to multiply so that you see that it automatically blends with the background that we set. Next off, I wanted to add a kind of geometric vector to it. So I downloaded this particular vector abstract background over here. You can use that, but the problem is if it has or the resolution is very low, it is going to affect your design. This particular one is already in PNG, but then you have to remove the background still. So you can choose this magic selection tool over here or the magic one tool. And then you left click and then you can delete the background. So right now it is full PNG. And then you can cut a part of it. For instance, you go for the rectangular market tool here. And then you can make a selection around this side. You press Ctrl J and then you can drag and drop this inside of the documents that you are working on. I think this works fine if you have a very high resolution, but then I didn't actually use that. But I will leave it in the link. If you want to use it, that is very fine. So I tried to create my own one, which it came out very fine for me. So what I'll do is I go for my rounded rectangle over here, create a very small rounded rectangle like that. And I'm going to give it a color that will show up something like this. So. You can see it even from afar so i'm going to press ctrl j to make a duplicate and i'll drag it here let me zoom in the more so that you can see what i'm doing so let me just drag and drop it over here you take your time to use the arrow keys to just make the copy and paste like that you can select all of these three press ctrl j and then you can duplicate that and then you drag it over here like that so afterwards, you can still select all of these six one. You select the first one, hold shift, and then you can select all of these. Press Ctrl J, and then you can try to move it over here. If it is becoming more like that, you can just basically leave it. Now, the next thing is you still go for the first copy, and then you select all of them. Press Ctrl J, and then you can group that one. You can press Ctrl J from here to copy that one, drag it beneath like this. So you press Ctrl J to duplicate that and then you take your time to use the arrow key to work it out. After you're done with all of this one, you can select all the groups, press Ctrl G and then you can group that into one. From there, let me zoom out. So you select your Z and then you can zoom out and then you realize that we have our own thing created over here. So you can press Ctrl T from this one right click and then you rotate it either clockwise or anti-clockwise you can hold shift and then alt and then you open it up and then i'm going to send this one right over here if it appears to be very very bold you can decrease the opacity to 30 40 or even 50 
anyone that is going to work for you so you press ctrl j again and then you duplicate that one you drag it over here you press ctrl t to transform it and then you can open it up like this place your cursor on the extreme right and then you can rotate it very simply like that so you drag and drop this one over here and then it should create another kind of geometric shape for you as well like i said if you don't want to go through all these stress you can basically use the one that i attached in the link so from there we move ahead to create a rounded rectangle again so i'll go for the ellipse tool i'll hold shift and then drag and draw a nice rectangle like this that is the rectangle that you're going to place the image in so you press ctrl a to select it all and then you select align horizontal centers and align vertical centers now you want to make sure this is visible for you so you double click over here and then you can drag the color a bit down like this okay so anywhere like that and then you click ok if this doesn't look very big for you i think it should be fine to go with so you can press ctrl t to basically transform it out you press ctrl j again to make a duplicate and then you press ctrl t to transform it out like this and then you can change this one the color to this particular that we have already don't worry you're going to insert in a picture so it is going to be just fine i'm going to select the two of them press ctrl t and transform it like this and then i'll go and select the last ellipse this one i'll press ctrl j to duplicate it and i'll press ctrl t transform it to be a little bit bigger like this and then i'm going to double click on that one i'll select the fill and set it to zero so that it will not be visible from there i'll right click on this circle go to the blending options and i'm going to set the stroke over here so i'm going to change this particular one to three and i'm going to change the color from here so i'll first of all pick this particular color because that is the main color we're using and i'll try to go down a bit so that this can be a little bit darker than the main one from there i'll click ok and then ok from here i'll select all of these ellipse or circle press ctrl g and i'm going to group that to main from there i'm going to add another set of ellipse to it or circle so i'll go for the ellipse tool or the circle tool and then i'll hold shift and draw another circle over here i'm going to double click on the layer thumbnail make sure that the color is a bit darker like this right from there i'm going to press 3 on the keyboard to reduce the opacity to 30 or better still say 4 you can play along with it anyone that works fine for you it's okay so i'll press ctrl j and i'm going to duplicate that i'll drag and drop it over here but this time around i'll press ctrl t and i'm going to transform it to be a bit smaller like this and then i'll press enter from there i want to add a couple of love because we can't design mother's day without love so i'll left click on this tool right over here and go to the costume shape tool now you have to browse through your costume shapes to find this particular love over here and then you select that one in order to make sure that this will not blend with the ellipse you're going to have to create a new layer on top of the ellipse tree so create the new layer you hold shift and then you're going to create your beautiful heart over there you're going to use the same color that we use for the ellipse so let's just go and copy it right over here click ok and then go to the shape over here and then we're going to paste it right there so you click ok and then we're going to decrease the opacity also to 30 percent so this is what we have over here let me just bring in the image so that you get to understand what we are doing properly so quickly let's go back to the main over here this is the particular ellipse or circle that we will put the image in so you make sure that your ellipse is selected go to your resources and then just drag and drop in your image now you have it over here the resolution doesn't look very okay but i think it's fine you right click and then you create a clipping mask like this you press ctrl t and then you transform it out and then you should have something beautiful like this one even if you want you can right click and rasterize this one 
press ctrl l to auto level this one and then you can add a couple of levels and curves to this right from here we can go ahead and then add our test so on top of this one i'm going to add a test i've already copied and pasted it over here so i'll go for the test tool and the first test that i'm going to write the name is called Aston script so i'll left click over here go inside of what i've written right over there and then i'll copy and i'll paste it right over here so it is going to paste it over you can select it all and then you can reduce the font type or the font size if you really want to so you press ctrl t and you take your time to transform it like that you press ctrl a and then you make sure that it is centered let me just zoom in right over here so that you can see how beautiful it looks over there the next set of tests that we're going to add is the happy mother's day so i'm going to do that or i'm going to write that with a font called railway so i'll choose the test tool and i'll just left click over here go to the font family and i'm going to select railway i put a link to download all of these fonts in the description so the first thing that i'm going to write over here is called happy and i'm going to select it all and i'm going to choose the typeface medium i think medium looks fine or let's try something like semi bold what do you think i think the semi bold looks good i'm going to select it all go to the toggle character and i'm going to close this one to around minus 60 and i think that she looked very fine for me so i'll press ctrl t and open this one up that is transform it like that and i'll place it right over here i'll make a duplicate of it by pressing ctrl j i'll slowly bring it down beneath of this one i'll choose the test tool again and then i'm going to double click on this one to edit that so i'm going to write over here mothers and i'm going to press ctrl t make sure that i transform it to be almost the same size as that of the happy and then i can use the arrow keys to push it up a little bit like that and then i'm going to duplicate that same thing again drag it down and i'm going to edit that today so just like we did press ctrl t transform it and it's going to be the biggest so you use your arrow keys and then you drag it down over here so i'm going to select the three over here that is from the day to mothers and i'll press ctrl t to transform it out like that i'll just push it up over here and then i needed to add like a little bit of touch to the day over here so what i did is underneath of the day over here i'm going to add a new layer like that and i'll go for my brush tool basically this can be tricky okay so once you're done with this you can just group it just to be on the safer side i'm going to make sure that my brush hardness is full the opacity is full flow is full and then i'm going to hold alt and sample this particular color so let me just zoom in right over here so i'm just going to brush in there like that i believe you're going to understand very soon so you realize that when i turn off my day i have that brush thing over there like that basically that is the idea so i'll go into my resources and i have this beautiful image that i downloaded so i'll drag and drop it inside of photoshop let me just get rid of this one i'll go for my magic one tool and i'll left click over here to create a selection i'm going to delete that one press ctrl d to deselect it and then i'm going to send it inside of the documents that we are working on so it is simple here yeah? so i'll just press ctrl t to transform this one and i'm going to transform it out like that okay so very simple like that okay so i'm just going to transform it over here and it has to be right there what i do next is i'll right click on this layer go to the blending options and then i'm going to choose a color for it so color overlay and then i'm going to choose the color and i'll pick the background color that we are using over here and then you can press ctrl t to even make sure that it is a little bit bigger so you can just send it on top of the day and then it should be good right over there so just like i told you if you don't want to find yourself wanting all that you have to do 
is after us you select everything from this layer that we just added to the happy over here and then you can press ctrl g to group that to something like test and then you can press ctrl t to group this one so that things will be very simple for you right so the last thing that you're going to add will be the wish that you want to wish your mother and to do that i'm going to use a very simple rectangle but i want to make sure it is in alignment with the day over here so i'll drag my ruler and drop it over here go to my rectangle and then pick the rectangle right there so i'll draw a rectangle right over here like that and then i can position it over here you make sure it is on the same line as the ruler that you brought in let's quickly change the color so you double click over here and then you're going to select this particular color a very bit darker one like that you press ctrl t and then you can even transform this one out a little bit just make sure that it can be visible right so the next thing that you do is you select your test tool i'm going to use railway medium for this one as well and then you can left click over here go to the test that you have over here basically you can you have to type it and then you're going to select this one copy it and then you can paste it right over there so you select it all the font size you can change it from here and then the boldness you can change it also from here and then you select this particular background color so that it can be visible so you choose your move tool and then you can drag and drop this one over here so you press ctrl t right from there and then you can transform it let me just zoom in so that you can see it right here you can transform it nicely like that let me know in the comment section the kind of message that you are leaving for the beautiful women and mothers out there or the kind of message that you are leaving for your mother inside the comment section and yes that is how you create a very simple card wishing your mother your sister your wife a happy mother's now in case you're doing this for your mom your sister or let's say your wife or you want to do it for all of them you can basically be replacing the images right here so all that you do is you hold alt and then you select this particular one so you go to the main open it up you can just turn this one off go into your resources and if you have any other image you can basically drag and drop it in here like that right click let me just bring it in here right click and then you can create a clipping max for it so you press ctrl t and then you can close it up like that so if you have multiple images you can use basically this approach to insert all of them and in a few minutes all of them should be ready to be posted out there once you're done with this you can basically save it as a jpeg or like a photoshop file so that you can put it on your phone so you go to file save if it is not already saved or you save it as and then you can select here and choose jpeg right from there so that you can copy it to your phone and then you can send it to them or use it as your whatsapp status and all those things once again a happy mother's day to all the beautiful mothers over here and since i couldn't deliver this particular tutorial on time i'm leaving a template in the description go download it use this template to wish the beautiful mothers out there a happy mother's day thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to check other videos of mine as well i'll see you guys in the next one innocent here and bye